Look at that. Look at that. I want to stay up wind of it so we don't drift off it. All right, catch them, boys. See how this popper do. See how the popper do. Wow. Oh, there he is. Yes, he is. They are really hitting the surface. Oh, fish just broke right behind us, about two feet from the boat. Woo! I might be losing my mind. Yeah, the fish came off. But it felt like another fish hopped on. <laughs> like one had that other hook. Oh, just then? Yeah. And both times, Vicky was fishing in the surf with that tsunami chugger. And it happened to her twice. This is popper heaven. One time she went two fish the other time she broke. Oh, I just saw him swirl behind it. Yeah. He got it. Oh. oh. You see that? Oh, that is a Fouled it. Oof. Oof. We got three poppers going now, huh? Oh, there we go. He popped the popper. He done popped the popper. Yeah, we all sound stupid when we hook up. We all get excited and say silly things. If you don't get excited and say silly things when you're fighting a fish, you should give it up. I'm 50 years old. Started fishing before I was five. Fish for a living, start guiding at 15, I still get excited. Yeah, we are getting moved in on for sure. Doesn't matter, there's plenty of fish. That's a pretty one. Both of those, both of those cameras are. There we go. Yeah, a little better. Sure. I haven't caught a fish on a pop for how long. Yeah. Popper. Thanks, Ben Seacrest. Nasty fish. That popper is so scratched up already. Woo! Got it. Whacked it. Oh, I even gave him a second. I even gave him a second.
Take it. <laughs> Dude, I just had it sitting. I had it resting. Little guy. Small guy. Five, six pounder. We have two two schools right next to each other right there. You know, drip right through both of them to get it right. The second one is there. The first one was right over here. There was one group right, we're almost over where I saw it, and then a little further there was a second one. All right, let's go to that one right there. That's a big one right there. I'm gonna go upwind so we don't drift off it quick. You cast with the wind at your back. It's so important to approach these schools right. I know it's exciting and you wanna to get to it quick. Take a minute, breathe. We have wind. We wanna have the wind at our back when we cast. We wanna go upwind so we can drift over it nice and easy, spend more time on the school. Don't just head straight to it without, really, without a plan, you know? If you can stay on the edges of it, that's the best way to attack it because you won't spook him so much and it'll stay put. Alright, okay. We're standing to the right still. Look back over here, John. Look back over here, John. That one? Boom. Oh no! Fish on! Oh, smoking it! Fish on! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now they're perfect. Striper, absolutely perfect. With that chugger stuck in his jaw. She's a beaut. Okay, okay little girl. Thank you. Okay, guys. If you see bait that looks like this, just a super haze, very hazy at the bottom like that, very hazy. That is usually tiny, tiny bait. It looks like one solid mass. See how it looks like almost one solid mass? And we mark the bigger adult menhaden. You see more individual marks. When you see this, you know it's either yearling bait, you know, butter bean, if you're in freshwater, butter bean shad, red fins, and salt water. Could be spearing or sand eels or uh, yearling bunker, peanut bunker. So if you see it tight like that, tight clouds, use smaller baits. The fish key on the smaller baits, and they really get tunnel vision. The only key on the small baits. Come on in here. Oh look! Look at that! Oh, that's it. If that's it. All right. Get in there, Tom. That plug's gonna fix something. Oh yeah. I told you it would. Oh yeah. Look at that. That plug just looked too good not to be in. <laughs> right there, bro. There's another brother right there. Wow, those are a little bit bigger right there. Come on, you want it. Yeah, I knew you did. I knew you did. Okay. Get him. Oh my goodness, the screen is lit up full. Look at 
that's green, dude. Oh my lord. RCF two six two, Bethel Traffic Channel one two. Got another one, Tommy? Oh, yeah. Now, stop, stop. I want to show you off. I'm going to let you go. Another beautiful fish on a popper. You're on both sides of this. It doesn't matter where you cast, right? It doesn't. Broadcast. Got the, the bait swung around and kind of got him under the chin. So he did that. That's a good one. How did I miss? What did I do wrong there? I'm out of your way right now, Skip. Have it. They can't, they're everywhere. Look at this mess. The screen is lit up with fish. So awesome. Longer ride, you gotta remember, guys. Oh, look at him. I'm the sorry. The long rod. Yeah. The fish has leverage against you too. Kind of oh. Pull him hard. You can pull right back with a long rod. Something to think about. You choosing a rod, you know. This one happens to be. I'm just. I'm amazed at this rod. How versatile. Yeah. It feels like you can pretty much use it for anything, right? Yeah. If you need it. The tip is soft enough, you could probably use it for bait from the bank, you know, if you're bank fishing. Absolutely. Chunk from the bank. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be afraid to bucktail fluke with this. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the counter weight system down in there. <sighs> Where are you, little guy? Not so little? Yeah, you are. Puppy. John's using the Judge here, the new Judge. It's uh, my newest signature rod by Rich Colson. Has a counterweight system, has a carbon fiber grip, so they're very sensitive. It is a super high-end blank. It's a composite blank, and the bottom here is wrapped with carbon fiber. It stops here, so it gives it a lot of stiffness in the bottom. A lot of power in the bottom, but it's very soft at the top. And the reason I like that is you get uh sensitivity but it's not brittle rod you know it's not you know it's not this, something it, it, and not only that it threw from half ounce to three yeah. ounce plugs effortlessly mm -hmm. it wasn't as if uh, i had to do anything to adjust right are we, are we surrendering yes sir <laughs> all right <laughs> good job today damn it's not even six o'clock what are you kids I'm blessed. Thank you, Cat Mike. Yeah, I'm man. Just fucking blessed. Tommy. You're welcome, my brother. Bless. Hold on, let me do one more. Uh... 